Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do another voiceover video. This is the look. I thought it would be fun and I am just really excited that makeup is finally taking a turn from the all neutral everybody wants that same Pinterest look like I'm excited so I really decided to embrace that and came up with this look so if y'all have any questions comments suggestions requests any of the above just leave them in the comments below please like subscribe um go check out my Facebook for live videos if that is what you're into um otherwise if you'd like to see how i got this look then just keep watching Thanks. okay to start off i'm going to use the peter lamas supreme radiance complexion booster this is supposed to even skin tone and help with any kind of texture i ended up not loving it because it had a funny smell and my makeup did not wear well throughout the day I'm priming my eyes with max 24 hour eye base everywhere i'm going to put shadows so lashes all the way up to brows and under my lashes as well i'm going to set that using my cody air spoon powder in the shade naturally neutral on a fluffy brush i'm going in with the shade girly by mac i'm going to use this as my transition shade and I decided to not edit this down as much as I have been. I really wanted to show how much I actually take my time and build a transition shade. I think I'll like layer this one on three or four times. And that just helps me build the nice gradient to help those darker shades blend out later. I'm going in with the NYX white eyeshadow base. And I'm putting that from my lashes all the way up to my crease to meet that transition shade, but I'm definitely not going above the crease. This is shade Cherry Topped by MAC, and I'm running that through the crease on a little bit smaller fluffy brush. It's going to start building those bright shades. I love this gorgeous pink color in the crease. I'm taking that from the outside all the way to the inside corner. Went and put some shadow shields on, and this is a L'Oreal Infallible Shadow. I believe the shade's Perpetual Purple. I'm going to build the outer V, and I'm really using that shadow shield to help build a sharp line at the outer V, and I'm laying the majority of the product down on that outside corner, and then pulling just what's left on my brush all the way to the inside corner. And I love the contrast between that deep purple and that bright pink. And just like that transitioning shade, I'm going to take my time building this purple shade as well. Next, I'm going in with Steamy by MAC on a pencil brush. And I'm placing that on the inner part of that purple and on the inside corner. This is going to add like a transition shade on the lid and help that purple blend in with that lighter color I'm about to place down. Next, I'm going to take the shade Crystal Avalanche, and this is actually a discontinued shade, but White Frost is still available and honestly identical. Um, I'm pressing that on the very inside part of the lid just to keep that nice and bright. Next, I'm going to take the shade Stars and Rockets by MAC on a fluffy brush and I'm going to run that kind of a little bit of everywhere really just to kind of give a nice overall sheen to the look and tie all the colors in together. This is a really pretty duochrome pink color. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite shades. And at this point, I felt like I lost a little bit of that cherry top, that really pretty pink color I laid down first. So I just went back in and around the very outer edges 
just to bring a little bit of that back in. This is the shade Deep Damson from MAC, and I'm going to use that as the deepest shade in that very outer V. And I'm going to connect it to the lower lash line, just the very outer edge. Going back with that same blending brush that I used for Cherry Top, but nothing additional on the brush. I'm just kind of blending to make sure that there's no harsh lines. I'm going to take a flat brush and spritz a little bit of Fix Plus and go back into the shade Crystal Avalanche and pick up just a tiny amount and press it in the very center of the lid. It's going to make that pop so much and give the prettiest dimension to the look. I wanted a really intense brow bone highlight, so I'm using the shade Crystal Avalanche on a dense flat brush and pressing that all the way underneath my brow. Then blending out with a fluffier brush to make sure that there's no harsh lines. I'm going back with the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow and running that underneath the lash line with a pencil brush. I'm really smoking that lower lash line out. This is where those shadow shields come in handy. I'm using my favorite eyeliner of life right now, Max Brush Stroke Liner. I've tried and I can't make myself use anything else. I really wanted to take my time and let you guys see how long it actually takes me to do a perfect wing. It's not something I sit down and just slap on. I'm not that blessed. Let's remove those shadow shields and we will move on to the face. God, that's an awful face. I love how sharp those keep my edges though. Going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade R330. And this finally matches me dead on. I finally self-tanned enough. I'm applying this using a dampened Beauty Sponge by Real Techniques. And I'll just start at the center of my face and move out because generally that's where we need the most coverage and wherever you start is where you're gonna get the most. I'm going back to my all-time favorite, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW30. And I'm concealing any blemishes, acne spots, any just random blahs I have on my face right now. I always do a little extra around my mouth and nose. I feel like that's where my foundation wears the quickest. And just a smidge extra in my forehead, just cause. And I'm using that same beauty sponge to blend. I'm going to highlight my under eye with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I show how I remove the wand, I wipe 
everything off for one and I still have enough to do both of my eyes without having to pick up more product. This is such a heavy coverage concealer. I feel like if I just went straight in with all the product that came off, it would cake and be so much. And I have learned to do my little triangles first and then at the very end, go back and apply the smallest amount of product to my inner corner. And it makes it so much easier to blend out. I'm using that same sponge to blend the majority of that concealer out and then I'll go back in and blend that inner corner with a fluffy brush. That's what's been working for me lately. Um, I was using a concealer sponge but I felt like it was lifting product more than blending it so this has been working much better. I'm going to bake using the Cody Airspun Powder in the shade Naturally Neutral. I'm going to apply this with a dampened sponge. This is the smaller concealer one. It's awesome for applying powder. I love how detailed I can get under the eye. It's such an obnoxious amount of powder used to bake, but the results are so pretty. I'm going to set the rest of my face using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden. I'm going to press that everywhere I don't have that bake. I'm going to bronze using my NARS Laguna Bronzer on that same brush that I used to set the rest of my face. Don't forget your ears. I'm going to contour using my oval brushes and my sculpting powder in the shade Shadester. I have been loving the oval brushes for contour. Once I realized and kind of got adjusted to how much product to pick up, they're amazing. They give the most sculpted cheek. Oh, and then I switched to a smaller one to contour my notes. I'm going to add just a smidge in that dip right above my lip and blend underneath my nose as well. I'm going to use my ambient lighting palette and my Kat Von D Rocket Powder Brush to dust away the bake. This just gives it a pretty kind of machine almost glow instead of being so matte in that area. You know, just a little extra. This is MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade Dainty, one of my all-time favorites. It's not as pink as it looks in the pan, and it just fits so beautifully with the eye. I am an absolute blend-aholic when it comes to blush. I will blend blush much longer than I will shadow. I'm going to highlight using the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder in shade 13. Oh my gosh, I was so glad to finally get my hands on this. To me, this is the star of the show. It takes the smallest amount and the glow that it gives is unbelievable. I just want to roll in it, guys. Make sure we're blending our highlight into our blush, our blush into our contour. 
no Neapolitan cheeks. I'm going to take a tiny shader brush and use that same starlight powder to highlight my inner corner. Just look at how much it makes it pop. Also going to pop a tiny amount under the highest point of my brow. I'm using Max Upward Lash. This is my favorite mascara of all time. The brush is teeny tiny, but it packs a punch. I can build this more than any other mascara and it doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't transfer. It's gorgeous on the lashes. I'm combing through my brows, but I didn't do my brows in this video. So we are about to be gone and then back with Insta Brows. I'm going to use our Dell Demi Wispies today. These are like that go to lash. They are so gorgeous. They have that perfect flare at the end. They're a good. I don't want to say basic or everyday, but you don't even have to think about it. They're not too much, but they're just enough. They're gorgeous. They're my favorite lashes, hands down. I'm lining my lips using Oh Honey Liner by MAC. I'm going to feel all the way in. This is one of those lip colors that's just a go-to for me. I could put a gloss on top of this and be good to go. I love the color. It lasts all day long. I'm going to wear Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Milkshake on top. And I thought I had found my perfect nude lip before, but that's until I discovered this shade. This is hands down my favorite liquid lipstick formula and color. And I'll top that off using Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian, which is a new to me lip gloss. This has been my go-to lip combination for the past several weeks, and I love it. Hey, what's up? Hello. Music was good. Anyway, this is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. Questions, comments, suggestions, any of the above, leave them in the comments below. I will have all products used listed in the description box along with links to social media. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.